is a very complex issue, not only because it's inherent problems, but mainly because it's a very new scientific discovery, and therefore from an ethical, legal, and Jewish point of view, we need really to explore many fundamentals in order to try to make sense of this topic. Now there is a rule that good ethics start with good facts. And hence, in order to discuss the ethical and the halachic uh, Jewish legal matters, I would like to present to you a little bit of the science involving cloning, and then come to some of the problems and uh, possible solutions. So when we talk about cloning in general in biology, we really mean that we want to uh, create an identical duplicate of either a cell, a tissue, or a whole organism. And in dealing with human beings, it would mean to take something from one human being and duplicate him so that the next one will be uh, either identical or very similar to the original. This has been created in some animals. The most famous one in 1997, almost a decade ago, when the sheep Dolly was created for the first time using the cloning uh, methodology. And since then, there were some other animals that have been created. The latest one that uh, created some scandal recently was a dog that was created in South Korea, which apparently is real, whereas the other part of the South Korean uh, discoveries have been proven to be falsified, and I'll come to it a little later in my talk. The creation of a new human being in the natural way is a combination of an egg and a sperm. What happened with the cloning technology is that they took a cell which is not a germline cell, not a sperm, but any type of cell, a skin cell, or a liver cell, or a eye cell, whatever type of a cell, which has already the full 46 chromosomes, and they put it into an egg of which they enucleated the nucleus, namely they took out the nucleus of the egg, and now we have just the surrounding of the egg, which is called the cytoplasm, and they took the nucleus, the full nucleus from the cell that they took out from, let's say, the skin, put it into the egg that does not have any nucleus, and therefore, again, the combination is 46 chromosomes. The new technology was in the way that they regressed the process of the mature cell to become a cell that can create new cells like a sperm and an egg cell. In other words, taking a cell that is already mature in the natural way can never go back to the situation where it can become a producing cell. And the cloning technology has enabled it to take a mature cell from wherever, whatever part of the body and make it like a primitive cell that can develop into a full organism. The problems with this technology are both scientific, medical, and especially ethical and uh, Jewish legal problems. From the experience of the sheep Dolly, we know that the sheep was created after 277 attempts, so that the success rate was 0.3%, which means that many, many embryos have been created and died before one was created successfully and was delivered as a living sheep. That obviously is a major scientific and ethical problem. But even more important is to realize that when we take a mature cell 
and we create a new human being or a new sheep or a new dog, this, if we take the human being for an example, this human being will be born in the shape of a baby, but in fact will be already an old person. He will be as old, probably, as the cell was taken from the donor that donated this particular cell. So if we take a cell from a 30, 40 year old person, the baby that will be born out of this cloning mechanism will be in his 30s, although he will look like as if he is a baby born day one. So one problem is early aging, and indeed Dali died after six years, much younger than expected for a sheep. It is a significant problem is the fact that when we take a mature cell, this cell was exposed for many years to all kinds of environmental hazards, chemical and radiation and diseases, and we don't know when we take the cell if it's a healthy or a sick cell. And it will transmit diseases to the new created cloney. And again, this is what happened with the sheep Dali, who had severe diseases throughout the short years that she lived. From an ethical point of view, at this stage, it will be totally unethical to try to attempt to create a human being via a cloning mechanism for at least three scientific reasons. One is that we will create probably a sick person. Second, that we will create an aging pe person and thirdly, that many will die in the attempt to create one who might survive and again be short, uh, live shortly and with diseases. There might be psychological problems. It will be very strange for people to go to the supermarket to, or to the mall to buy things and they'll see around them several people that are identical to them and think like them and do like them, it probably will be very uncomfortable. In general, Judaism approves any scientific discovery that intends to improve the world, to make easier on human beings to live, to make their lives better, to Im improve the quality, to lessen suffering, to lessen diseases, and to live in a leisure way. One, one uh, can argue that doing such a fundamental change in the way people or animals are created is a way of what the news people call playing God. In other words, one would think that we can replace God in creating new lives, which is really a God-given a task and human beings are not supposed to play with it. What God can do and no human being can do is to create something from nothing. Anything that is created something from something is in human power to do. And cloning is no different than many other technologies, whether it is fertility technologies or medical technologies or engineering technologies in which we take some substance, we change it to become a different substance, and by this change we created something that wasn't here before, but really it comes from something. So if we take a mature cell and an egg that we took out the nucleus, these features have been here all the time, and we are just using a different technology to make something new, and that is certainly not in the realm of playing God in any theological sense. However, from a Jewish point of view, it's important to understand that whenever a new technology comes out, we examine it from a halachic point of view, halachic meaning the Jewish legal aspects, and we examine the process and the outcome. If both the process and the outcome do not contradict any Jewish legal fundamental or even 
not fundamental principle, then it is by definition permissible unless it causes harm. From a principle point of view, the mere creation of a clone by the process that I described by itself is not contradictory to anything in Jewish law. However, the results of such a creation are contradictory to many Jewish principles. It destroys the family, there is no family unit, it creates defective children, it creates old children that will die early, it creates a problem with definitions of fatherhood and motherhood, and in fact it will create a situation where children will not know their roots and will not be able to marry other ones because it might be a problem of deciding who is who, who is a brother of whom, who is a sister of whom, and all this mixture will certainly be a bad outcome.